What is it about being in your car that just makes you want to vlog? I don't know. Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and I am just out running some errands right now. And I realized that today is my two month anniversary since starting this weight loss journey. So I just wanted to do a two month check in with you guys, see how it's going for everyone and let you know my progress so far and kind of reassess and see what I need to do to carry on with this weight loss journey. I feel I've made progress, which is good, but not as much progress as I would like. So so now I need to shift a few things around. So as of today or yesterday, I think it's the last time I weighed myself. No, I did weigh myself today. As of today, I am 10 pounds down, almost 10 pounds down from where I started, which is really good. There are also other markers of progress, like taking pictures, taking measurements, how your clothes fit, etc. So I'm not too concerned about the scale, but I am glad to see that it is down. I do feel like that is a good indicator that what I have been doing is working. and. I would say that in terms of my eating, I have actually been really, really good, especially in the last couple weeks. I feel like I've been even more focused. At the beginning, I, like I said, I was just focused on eating as much whole food, plant-based food as possible and really working on like including more greens and more vegetables into my diet overall, more so than like, oh no, I can't eat this. I have to be really strict or anything like that. I like to kind of ease into the weight loss journey and like basically just get comfortable again eating lots of whole food plant-based foods a lot less processed foods a lot less sugar all that good stuff so after the first month I lost about five pounds and then this second month was another five pounds so it's been about 10 pounds in total and I feel like the progress has been pretty good I did think that it would be going a little bit faster but here's the other thing is I haven't been working out. I know at the beginning of this weight loss journey, I had these really big exercise plans and I talked a lot about that because that's what I've always done in the past in order to lose weight. Exercise is really helpful for weight loss and I've always loved going to the gym. So I expected to go right back to all of that and be like exercising at home all the time and doing these hit workouts at home and all of this stuff that just didn't happen because I have a neck injury, which is kind of a long story. It's basically sitting at a desk too much for the last few years. And I basically have like a pinched nerve in the back of my neck, which sounds really dramatic. It's hopefully not that serious. It's just very, very painful. And I have been babying it for sure. Like I've been just treating it very carefully because I don't wanna make it worse. I'm like trying to let it heal by itself before I start exercising vigorously. I am trying to stretch and like do some yoga and things like that when my neck feels up to it. But I also am just, like I said, taking everything very slow. And so I don't feel like my exercise is quite where I had expected it to be which is fine life happens I'm not upset about it and I know that diet is actually the most important part of losing weight so this just goes to show that you can lose weight on a whole food plant-based diet without exercise like I have done almost nothing this neck thing happened like basically right after I started this weight loss journey I think I've worked out probably like a couple weeks overall but definitely not a lot and definitely not every day Sorry, my camera keeps slipping and I just have to keep readjusting it. Hopefully that's good now. So even though my exercise is not where I want it to be, I have tried to, like I said, incorporate some more stretching, a little bit of yoga, and I've just started walking again, which is a really good form of exercise. It's very low impact and pretty much anybody can do it. It's getting a little bit warmer here now in Canada. So I'm like really taking advantage of the days where I can go outside and get a little walk in. So that's all good. I'm not really worried about the exercise part. It just means that I have to focus more on clean eating, which is fine. So I feel like I have been eating pretty well and I've just been allowing myself a couple of treat days here and there, like a couple, a few times each month. And I feel that has actually really helped me stay on track because for me to go a whole month purely clean eating is really difficult. It just, it is what it is. I like my indulgences. I like my delicious vegan treats, as you guys know. So I personally feel you don't have to be 100% the entire time for the rest of your life. I believe that there's room for flexibility and you gotta make it work for your lifestyle and for your happiness. But I am eating overall pretty clean. Like I said, I would say 95% clean and just treats every once in a while. So on this two month anniversary, I am going to be taking some pictures and comparing them to where I first started. I feel progress pictures are actually really beneficial. I don't think you realize it at first and a lot of people are like, oh, what's the point of that? But it really can make a difference. Even if you have started this weight loss journey already and you haven't done progress pictures, 
still take them. There's still time. If you have more weight to lose, there is still time. Pictures can be a lot more telling than you think. So yes, as part of phase two, I'm going to take my pictures. And then also I think that it's a good idea for me to start tracking some calories. Sometimes it's just good to assess how many calories you're eating in a day. And it's pretty easy to figure out your TDEE, which is basically your maintenance calories and how many calories you need to eat in a day to like function. So once you figure that out, you can figure out how much you should be eating in order to lose a bit of weight or to gain a bit of weight, whatever your goals are. And it just also helps once you start tracking the foods that you're eating to kind of see if there's any trouble spots. Like maybe you've been eating a handful of nuts each day, which I mean, nuts are very healthy, but they also have a lot of calories. So once you start tracking a day's worth of meals or a few days worth of meals, you might notice some things that are like, oh, I thought that was really healthy and yet I'm eating a lot more calories than I had intended to. So that's another thing that I personally am going to start implementing, just kind of see where my calories are at and then tweak as needed. And then keep getting those veggies in. I feel like that is really the most important part of a diet is just vegetables vegetable vegetables guys if you don't love vegetables you gotta find a way to love them because low calorie density foods are just where it's at for weight loss it's just the easiest way to do it and then lastly just keep going like I feel that a lot of people they expect instant results don't we all I mean I'm like I've been eating healthy for two months now why haven't I achieved my exact weight loss goals yet but you have to realize that things take time your body didn't get like this in two months it takes a long time to gain weight and it also takes a long time to lose weight it's not gonna be overnight. Unfortunately, I know we all wish that it could be, but that's why we gotta focus on the progress that we have made and look at how far we've come and just think, as long as I keep going with this and maybe make a couple minor tweaks if needed, then I will continue to lose weight. So that's basically what I have in store for the next few months. I also wanna start posting some recipes with calories, and this is not to intimidate anyone. I know that calorie counting can like sound really intense and diety and scary, but I actually feel that it's a tool that can help you and not to be scared of it. It's actually something that is really, really beneficial. And if you understand how calories work, then it can actually speed up your weight loss progress. So I do wanna start posting some quick and easy meals. Of course, they will still be whole food plant-based and just like some overall lower calorie meals to give you guys some ideas. I know even I personally get in like recipe ruts where I'm just like, I have no idea what to make. So I feel like hopefully that will be helpful to you guys to give you some recipe and meal inspiration, which are lower calories and that you can easily make it home for yourself. If that's part of your journey, if weight loss is not a part of your journey, that's fine too. I mean, a whole food plant-based food is good for everyone. You don't have to be on a weight loss journey to enjoy it. So I'm excited to know your progress as well. If anybody else is on this weight loss journey with me, let me know in a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and hear how it's going. If you have any specific problems that you need help with, let me know. You can also send me a DM on Instagram. Oh, which by the way, there are like, a whole bunch of you who are sending me DMs on Instagram that I never realized because there's apparently a whole like spam folder of DMs on Instagram and somehow a bunch of messages got filtered there. So I really apologize if any of you have DM'd me and I didn't get back to you. I actually just went through yesterday and messaged a bunch of you guys. So go check your DMs if you messaged me before and you thought I wasn't getting back to you. It's just because I didn't know, not because I'm ignoring anyone. So I hope you all are doing well. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching this video, for being here on this journey with me. And with that, let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.